Hey, Alaskan photographer Jeff Schultz here. We're still in this age of social distancing. My wife and I decided to take a trip out of the kitchen this time and photograph something out here. Just, we're really just gonna go for a bike ride in the Chugach National Forest along the Trail of Blue Ice. And I'm just gonna shoot with my iPhone. I have the new iPhone 11, which has the three lenses, which makes for some pretty cool photos. So we're just gonna see what kind of patterns we can find. Join us on our trip down the trail here. This is a really fun trail. There's not much to it. It's pretty level the whole way. We'll just see if we can spot anything. We're just out for just a Sunday morning jaunt. We're not in any rush. We're not bent on finding photos. Though there'll certainly be something to photograph, especially with this spring ice that we have. I just decided not to bring the big camera just because this is a family outing and I just want to enjoy myself, make it easy. So I'm first, I just noticed this moss here and with these leaves and little plants coming out of it, there's just some great patterns to be had here. So why not take advantage of that and just compose something? It's a pretty simple photo, but it's effective. Off down the trail we go. So similar to the last place where we had this moss, I really like now the bark right there. So having a little bit of all that together is a way interesting pattern as well as contrast. So I like that idea. Now, what kind of photo to make? That's the question. And plus we can also shoot just the moss. So from this one location, I can shoot a number of different things. So doing a vertical shot, can look like that. Now, do I want one third bark and two thirds moss or vice versa? That's the question. Certainly don't want half and half because that doesn't work. So this is ultimately the photo that I liked okay on this. And as I look up this direction, I can see through the trees there. Take a look and see what we get that way. So along this blue ice trail, there's just a whole lot of different opportunities. Like, wow, look at this hanging glacier like that. And putting these branches in the foreground, that helps out a lot with a little bit of depth. Simple dimple, but effective. So as we were cruising along here, we got stopped by the avalanche area here. And I just was looking around and saw these cottonwood trees and this cobalt blue sky, and I saw some patterns. How cool is that? Just to see those three trees, an odd number is always better. It's nothing spectacular, but it's different and it's something. So we shot. So along this bike trail, there's a lot of spots like this with hemlock trees and a lot of moss and stuff. It's way cool. But as we were walking around, I spotted this little thing which to me, it just looks like an eyeball. I'm gonna use a little bit of a telephoto look. And actually it would look a lot better in the shade. So what I'm gonna try doing is I'm gonna put my body here and I'm gonna make it all shadow. And then just moving around a little bit to get just slightly different angle. And makes a pretty cool pattern looking photo, huh? So we stopped here and found this cool looking pond. And there's some great patterns here. The bubbles in the ice, plus this two leaves that are stuck in the ice there. So I'm gonna see what that looks like. Again, the idea here is these patterns, having the person's eye move around the photo. So I'm gonna try getting up close to a pattern like that. And that looks absolutely fantastic. Oh, did you see the path? The bubble move, that was me. There's something about this ice and bubbles, the contrast I just find fascinating. I love this, so rich. So the photo I'm composing here is of these two leaves. And I've got a couple different leading lines. One going this way and one going this way. So it's leading around the frame. I say for the whole day, this is the absolute best photo I shot. And these bubbles in the ice, they're just 
so cool looking because there's so many patterns that are moving around and around. So I'm gonna try getting really close to these bubbles. Again, I really love the richness of the contrast here. So I hope you enjoyed this little trip down the Blue Ice Trail here at Portage Glacier, photographing with the iPhone. You don't need a super lot of fancy camera to do all this. You can make it pretty simple with your iPhone. When I go on vacation, oftentimes this is all I take with me so that I don't have to stop and set everything up. Pretty cool stuff. Hope you enjoyed it. Bye-bye.